I have some elderberry that are ready to pick. I'm a hot mess, but let's get this done. Well, this is all the elderberries I got for the first pick. I'm hoping I have enough to make a little pie. I just cut one branch off of a big piece at a time and roll them, just roll them off with my fingers. If there's any green ones, I just don't try to knock those off. If they fall in, I take them out. That's pretty easy. And then as I'm taking them off the stems, I try to make sure that there's no stems in here. But no matter how careful you are, you're going to have stems. It's just part of doing it. Now I need to measure and see how much we got. We got two cups. That's exactly what I needed. Gonna make some pie. I have my pie crust ready. And my berries. Two cups. Now we're gonna add a cup of sugar. Three tablespoons of flour. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Ah, I made a mess. Here we go. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then just a small pinch of nutmeg. I have one cup of water here. I'm only going to put a half a cup in at a time. Mix this up. That looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to pour it into the pie crust. I got the oven set at 425 and I'll be baking it for about 30-35 minutes. It looks like it could be I could have had another cup or more of berries in there. We'll see how it turns out. Well it shouldn't uh bubble over. This is a 9 inch pan. Pie pan. 9 inch pie pan. In the oven it goes. I just took it out of the oven and I only cooked it for 30 minutes. It looks done to me. And I forgot to cover my crust, so it's a little overdone. But it smells delicious. Um, 
I'll get a picture of it once I cut it. Thanks for watching.